Lots of construction going on outside of the new communications office just behind me here. We're in the heart of the village, a couple of doors down from McCumber's Convenience. Joe Delarond is with me today for a political update. Joe, what's on the plate? Well, there's plenty on the plate. Of course, the Iroquois Caucus is going on. This time it's being held in Ottawa at the Delta Hotel. And Rosarius uh, Bobby Patton is out there representing this time around. And uh, as always, there's a, a full uh, agenda over there. Some of the uh, issues, uh, you, you tend to think that, uh, well, again. But when you talk about issues like border crossing, there are always developments on there. Especially these days. Especially these days with the new president and the uh, potential for change and, uh, you know, how they deal with the uh, border issues all the way around so uh, that continues to be on the agenda but uh, some a couple of other other uh, issues such as hunting and fishing have really come to the fore of late uh, this is basically on uh, hunting in other territories and some of the problems that uh, people are facing with game wardens and police so there's a, a great fear that there's a loss of uh, ability to hunt and fish uh, on uh, on what they call crown crown land, such as uh, national parks and stuff like that. So they're going to discuss that at the at the Iroquois caucus. Something else that came up, I think, uh, is uh, very interesting. And in the next uh, you know next few hours, they're going to be they'll be talking about uh, the transportation of used liquid in liquid form used uh, radioactive materials from the Chalk River uh, plant out there that is supposed to be tracked or um, transported by ground all the way to uh, North Carolina or South Carolina. I'm not sure which, but uh, either way, it's in the southern part of the United States. That has caused great concern around the Great Lakes because Chalk River is actually on the Ottawa River, but they're not sure which way the trucks will be going. For us, the Ottawa River passes right by here, and if there's any sort of uh, issue of spillage or, or any kind of issue, of course, it's going to hit us here. But uh, the entire Great Lakes Basin and St. Lawrence River is at risk. A few years ago, the Mohawk Council of Gahnawake, Akwesasne, and Tayandanega signed a joint uh, statement, made a, jo a joint statement against the transportation of used steam generators from another uh, hydroelectric plant that used nuclear power. So. Again, it's a new fight. This one's a little bit different, and uh, there should be some developments there. And it's it's kind of you know a coincidence that the uh, water protectors up in, uh, in North Dakota looks like they're back in the news again. And uh, again, it comes down to water and protecting it. And uh, it just seems that there's there's no end to this kind of thing right now. Uh, you mentioned the uh, Standing Rock people. Uh, it was announced last night uh, on the news anyhow that the Army is now allowing the, uh, the project to continue and to go underneath the, the, the uh, water as originally planned. Um, and you want to have a couple of words to mention about that. Yes, so, uh, you know, I think people in Gahnawaga have been following this very, very carefully. Uh, even at the Iroquois Caucus, I'm sure that's going to be coming up. And as the weather starts to warm up and uh, the movement uh, happens where they look at, you know, uh, actually doing the work and starting the digging, um, it could get very messy. And even when you look at things like crossing the border, what will happen when native people say, well, I'm, I'm going over to, to Standing Rock and uh, will they be allowed across the border just based on the fact that Donald Trump, uh, his era has begun and it really seems to be problematic. We don't know where this is going to go. Will we have the right as First Nations and Indigenous people to, to protest this on site? Well, we talked about this a few shows back a couple of months ago, how the uh, Border Service Agency, we are classified um, not as natives, we are classified as aliens and refugees, I believe. So that could have a big effect. Well, you know, the, the work continues, and uh, needless to say, in the next little while, we should be seeing some uh, interesting developments, hopefully for the best. But there are no guarantees at this point. Uh, as we've seen with uh, Donald Trump, anything can go. Anything else, Joe? Uh, at this point, um, I, I think uh, next week we should have uh, plenty to report on. There's a, a lot of things in the hopper, as we say, and some major announcements are expected to be uh, coming up, but uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks, Joe. All right.